Why do witches choose a witchy name? What's the deal? Are they just trying to be edgy? Are they just trying to be spooky and edgy? Why should you even choose a witchy name at all? Fine, you wanna choose a name? What name should you choose? Let's get into it with today's video. Everything you need to know about choosing a magical witchy name. Hey everyone, it's Anya with the Season of Anya and welcome to my channel where we are building a wonderful community for those interested in healing themselves through yoga, magic, and witchcraft. So let's get into it. Why do witches and spiritual folks choose a witchy or magical name? There are a couple reasons for this. First reason I would say is empowerment. So a lot of times just changing a name and, and refreshing and rebranding yourself, if you will, is a great way to just kind of mark that fresh start, get rid of your old identity, your old intrusive thoughts, your old thought patterns, your old behaviors, and just immerse yourself into a new identity where you can be authentically true to you and no BS from the past to haunt you. Some practitioners like to have a magical name simply for the fact that it just helps them get in headspace. So, how do you choose a witchy name? Well, it depends on you, really. What type of energy are you trying to invoke? Are you looking for a name that invokes strength, passion, knowledge? Are you looking for an energy that's a little bit more playful and fun and carefree? Maybe something a little more youthful, or maybe a name that invokes wisdom. So, if you want a name that invokes power, personal power, right? Go on Google, type names that mean power. Personally, I'd recommend doing it in another language if you want, that's just me. But a lot of names have Latin roots anyways, so it's kind of fun to experiment with that. It doesn't have to be Latin, it could be whatever. It could be something of your heritage, your ancestry. It could be an animal, it could be something mythological, I'm thinking Phoenix, for example. Or it could be a favorite gemstone or precious metal, pearl, ruby. It's gotta, it's gotta fit though. It's gotta invoke what you are at your core. It could simply just be your name in a different language or the nickname you wanted but never had. My two cents is, would be to do a Google search and look up witchy names and personally avoid everything on that list. Not because those names aren't important or they suck. No, no, no. More so, that way you can bring a sense of originality to your own name. But if you really like the name that you choose, then go for it. Nobody is here to stop you. So once you find your name, try it out for a while. It's got to make sense. It's got to fit you, who you are, who you want to encompass, who you want to be. When choosing a witchy name, it's not so much of an alter ego. Think of it as more in the sense when you use this name, you are invoking a certain power within yourself. Do you have a goddess or deity you connect with? Maybe that's going to be your witchy name. Why do you connect with that certain deity and why did you choose that name? Hope I don't get hate for this, but it's kind of like, what would Jesus do? How can this name that I chose upon myself connect me to my higher self, connect me to spirit and connect me to divinity and ultimately keep me grounded and keep me living a very karmically balanced life, especially when life gets tough and sometimes it's hard to make decisions. It's just another way of enriching your soul with that connection to divinity. Another reason why witches choose magical names is simply for the fact that separation unfortunately it's unfortunate but we do live in a world where people just want to burn the witch man it's real that's why i am here on this channel i want to show people what witchcraft really is in essence seriously it's such a grounded tradition that is just so highly misunderstood but Sometimes you just gotta protect yourself. There are still just too many preconceived notions of what witches are and people are just straight to hate. It is what it is. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. So in essence, everything you need to know about a witchy name, if it resonates, do it. If it doesn't, don't. The end. Although that would have only been a 10 second video so I had to fluff it up a little bit for you guys. Drop a comment on your witchy name and what it means to you. Why did you choose that name? Let's inspire one another. I love hearing the stories behind everything. Names are a source of power, so choose wisely. Connect with the spirit of the name you choose. Try it out. Worst case, doesn't work. Okay, go back to the name you were given. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the season of Anya. Yes, I said subscribing, so hit that little button right right down there or there. I am so grateful for the community we are building and where this community is headed. It has been such an empowering place and we are just getting started, baby. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. While you're at it, if you could just hit that thumbs up button because it really helps the YouTube analytics and all that stuff. But on that note, 
Thank you again. So much love and gratitude to you all. And I will catch you on the next one.